It's a cinch that the little rascals wouldn't have lasted as long as they did as a top movie attraction in the 20s, 30s, and 40s if they just kept doing the same thing over and over again. The beauty of producer Hal Roach's creation, originally known as Our Gang, was that in focusing on the world of kids and filtering that through the minds of some of the best comedy talents in the world, there seemed to be a bottomless reserve of ideas. That's borne out by the films you're about to see in this collection. Readin' and Writin' is a wonderful and somewhat sentimental morality play that teaches a full-time wise guy a long-term lesson. This film marked the Our Gang debut of young Kendall McComas, who was given the rascal name of Breezy Brisbane. He turns in a delightful performance and has to follow in Jackie Cooper's footsteps as a student who tearfully learns that Miss Crabtree knows best. Incidentally, this was also June Marlowe's final appearance as that beloved schoolteacher. Next, we have a film that probably induces more belly laughs than any other in our gang history, The Kid from Borneo. There's no sentiment here, just one funny scene after another, built on an improbable case of mistaken identity. I think the funniest scene of all is Spanky's encounter with Bumbo, the wild man of Borneo, in his own family kitchen. Now, bear in mind, Spanky was just four years old when this film was made, but I defy you to find me a better comic performance than his by anyone, anywhere, anytime. Spanky's a bit older in Sprucing Up, and now he's got a romantic rival for the affections of a new girl in town, Alfalfa. Here again we have a very different brand of comedy, with these two friends trying to act mature beyond their years. Finally, we have another of the series' all-time best, Pay As You Exit, which calls on one of our gang's most successful formulas, Let's Put On A Show. And what a show it is, with Alfalfa as an onion-eating Romeo, Porky as a sound effects man who doesn't pay attention, and Buckwheat as a last-minute understudy for one of the classic roles in theater history. And if you're wondering who that big kid is who breaks the bench when he sits down, it's Joe Cobb, who was a silent movie rascal beginning in 1923. This was a brief return engagement for the series' original fat boy, who is now 18 years old. Watch all four of these varied but equally enjoyable films, and I dare say you'd be willing to pay as you exit, too. very hard in school. Mother wants you to be president. Well, I don't want to be president. I want to be a streetcar conductor. You're not going to be a streetcar conductor. You're going to be president. Why, well, you make me sick talking about president all the time. Well, never mind that. Get along to school. All right. What for we have to go to school anyway? Get smart, that's why. 
I'm fried already. You asked me something. Well, let's see. Now, if you had two apples and you gave me one, how many would you have left? I'd have two. Be smart. How could you have two and you just gave me one? Why, well, I am fried. I ain't giving you none yet. Here, here, what are you doing with my apples? I don't want to eat them, mister. I just want to buy them a minute. Oh. Here's two apples. Uh huh? Give me one. Uh oh, brother, I ain't giving my apples to nobody. Here, 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 now what? Geometry. Yes, sir. I really wanted to be president. And all you turned out to be was a punk blacksmith. On <laughs> Say, it's fresh kids like you that never amount to anything. Say, I know a fresh kid just like you when I went to school. And they expelled him. What did he do to get expelled? What did he do? Hmm. He did everything he could think of. He told a lot of new kids to do silly and harmful things. He put tar in the inkwell and glued the teacher's books together with glue. And then to top to climax, he brought a live mule into the schoolroom. That's what he did. Is that all he done? That all he done. father doing? 20 years. Is this your first day at school? Uh-huh. Did you know the teacher was deaf? No. Well, listen, you gotta talk awful loud to her. Mm -hmm. So when you go in, you give the teacher this note and everything will be jake, see? Hello. Say, this is your first. 
first day, isn't it? Yeah. Now listen, you want to get in good at the teacher, don't you? Yeah. When you see her, you say, hi, Krabby. Like this? Hi, Krabby. That's right.
My mama wrote a poem for me, and she wants me to speak it to you. Oh, nice. Come right up and recite it. Expelling you. How come? Did I hear you say you wouldn't recite Sherwood's poem for a million dollars? Sure I did. You take Sherwood's poem, learn it by heart, and come back and recite every verse to the class. You mean this silly stuff? Yes. Yeah. Say, I wouldn't say that in front of a croupy calf. Very well. Consider yourself expelled. You mean I'm kicked out? Yes. And you'll never be president. Oh, boy. Well, so long, Krabby. You better get busy, Breezy, and study that poem. What did you say to your ma when she finds out you're not in school? There's nobody to play with. Kids are all in school. There's no place to go. You can't go home. What is an acre? Oh, 
An acre is a bad tool. See, I got right here. Patsy, here's a hard one. What is an escalator? It's a great big thing that lives in the swamp. They make suitcases out of them. No, no, that's an alligator. Learn that poem. Learn that poem. Learn that poem. Bobby, what is two in one? Shoe polish. What is three in one? Oil. No, darling, you don't understand. Now, if a hen laid an egg here, and I laid two here... Oh, I don't think you can do it. You'll have to say it. All right. Come on. <laughs> I approved after you. I couldn't hardly reach you. Did I to me? I think I will get a former teacher. <laughs> I climbed to get the Davy deal out on the limbs of things. I tumble down like Jack and Jill and skin my little chin. might at least be good enough to let him come here and see them. Well, he's never seen them. Well, that's out. He's not coming to this house. If he does, I'll punch his head. Wild man. Do not come here and break up my house again, the big tramp. Will you take a look at our room? Yeah, 
but her auntie is a lady, and her uncle is her auntie's husband. Boy, I hope he doesn't come here, Lamp. Why not? Because I have to sleep with him. Mom, you can just really wild? Yes, he is. What will Daddy like, Uncle George? Well, your Uncle George is the black sheep of the family. And he and your father didn't get along. Gee, I'd like to see this Uncle George. Yes, and I'd like to have him see you. And Spanky. And Dorothy. Come here. You take that letter and go down to your uncle on Main Street. Tell him who you are and tell him I'll see him later. Come on, Stabby, give me a piece of candy. Uh-uh. This is all I've got. Come on, be a score. Give me up, will you? Uh-uh. And he's hard to get these days. Look, here comes Dick. Hey, fellas, come here. Take a look at our uncle. Pop says he's plenty wild, too. He sure do look wild. What makes him so black? Mom says he's the black sheep of the family. Them horns make him look more like a goat. What's that bone in his nose for? Maybe he likes to smell him. Oh, look, fellas, he's a sissy cannibal. What do you mean my Uncle George is a sissy cannibal? Because he wears earrings. Don't all wild men wear earrings? Do he eat people? Of course not. Come on, we're going down to see him. Want to come? Uh-uh, brother. I don't want no wild men snippling on me. Come on. Now listen, boys, get down to the car there and bring up the rest of that stuff. And hurry up with it. I want to see Mr. Billings. Well, he's not here at present, but uh, I'm his manager. I'm from the License Bureau. I want to take a look at this wild man. Oh, yes, we've been expecting you. We want to get open this afternoon. Come on in, I'll show him to you. There he is. Up, Bumbo, up. Is he vicious? No, he's perfectly harmless. Well, he only has the mentality of a child seven years old. Does he ever get out of control? Oh, once in a while he kind of gets nervous and excited, but we always calm him down by giving him candy or sweet things. He loves candy. Watch. Bumbo! Yum, yum. Eat him up. Eat him up. Yum, yum. Eat him up. Eat him up. He calls candy yum, yum. Eat him up. Yum, yum. Eat him up. Everything's all right. Go ahead and open up. Thanks. Yep, that's him, all right. He sure is a funny-looking bird. Yep, he's the real stuff. Hey, mister, we want to see our Uncle George. Mom got a letter from him. So, Mr. Billings is your uncle. Yeah, I've heard him talk about you. Well, well, well. Come on inside, kids. Oh, Harry, come here, I want to show you something. I'll be right in there, kids. How you feeling, Uncle George? Hello, Uncle George. Hello, Uncle George. Is that your uncle? Sure. He looks like a gorilla ape to me. Eat him up. Yum, yum, eat him up. Yum, yum, eat him up. Yum, yum, eat him up.
to go down and see what he's doing. You try first, Tommy. Oh, Lottie, I hope I get a wife. Oh, shucks. Go on, you gotta go down and see what he's doing. I always get the worst. Come on. No wonder he got a black ball. Look.
Thank you. Can I sleep all day? No, I don't feel very good. Oh, but it's such a lovely day. Yeah, but I'm awfully sick and I don't think I can go to school today. You don't have to go to school today. Because today's Saturday. Huh? Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Hurry, get us right away. Hey, it's Saturday! your teeth? Yep, both of them. Well, before you go outside, you comb your hair. Well, Tarzan don't never comb his hair. Oh, you're not Tarzan. Mr. Jones, the new truant officer. Uh, truant officer? Yes, and you better not let him catch you playing hooky. Boy, I'm gonna get on the good side of him. We better go in and get acquainted with it. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Yes, Miss Jones. I hope there's a lot of my children around here to play with. Oh, yes, indeed. They're all perfect ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, bye-bye. Have a lot of fun. <laughs> Ain't she pretty? Oh, boy, I'm going to be nice to her because if she likes me, her daddy will like me. You took the words right out of my mouth. Hello. Chica. 
mouth and when she comes, boom, boom. Why, Alfalfa, what's happened to Tarzan? He's gone Hollywood. Mom, a potato hasn't got a chance now. Maybe she ain't home. Well, we'll wait anyway. Somewhere about. Well, I got something for her. That's all right, son. I'll give them to her. You ought to put those in water. I'll go inside and get a vape. Funny-looking monkey. That happens to be me, partner. Oh, thank you. I'm a pretty good-looking fella, ain't I? Mm-hmm. Say, how much would you charge to haunt a house? <laughs> say funny. Without working in your finger? Sure, you just went to your thumb. He's pretty smart, ain't he? <laughs> hmm. I just have to remember. Do you like candy? I should say we do. Take some. Oh, thank you. Don't mention. in here anyway. Personality, boy, personality. How'd you get in here? 
brain, son, brain. How do you know you got the brain? Well, the gang was outside, and I toot the horn, and Mr. Jones came out and chased them away. Ain't that brains? Say, tell me that again, will you? Well, the gang was outside, and I toot the horn. Mr. Jones came out and scared him away. Then I handed Mr. Jones a bouquet, and I ripped him away to get a vase. Mr. Jones. Well, thanks. Al Cowper, you're some little acrobat. Thank you. Mm. He sure is an acrobat. Oh, that's not so much. Well, what can you do? Whatever you do, I can do better. do it better. Don't mind me. Well, we're off. All right. One, two, three, four, four five, No way to play. You're telling us. Well, come on down from there now and make it snappy.
Falcon. All right, step up kids for the greatest show in town. I mean the greatest show in the whole world. Starts in a few minutes. No waiting. Tickets only one penny. All right, music. Where's Buckwheat? Yeah, he is. Play, Professor. How do we know it's worth a penny? Why, the idea. Some people pay as much as 10 cents to see Romeo and Juliet. That don't prove nothing. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you like the show, you can pay as you come out. You mean pay as we exit? Yeah, pay as you exit. That's our slogan. OK, we'll take a chance. Come on, kids. I'm <laughs> Thank you. 
Great idea. Pay as they ate. That's just what they did. <laughs> 